Welcome to Crocodile MTG, your home of competitive, constructed play in the modern, standard, and legacy formats. Today's video was brought to you by all our wonderful sponsors, affiliates, and patrons. Thank you so much for supporting the Crocodile MTG channel, and we hope you enjoy today's video. Hello everyone and welcome. My name is Jordan with Crocodile MTG here bringing you another Magic the Gathering video. Uh, today we are playing Devoted Devastation uh, with the Stoneforge Mystic package in the main deck. Um, I think this hand's actually pretty keepable. I think we're going to turn one Giver into two, uh, turn two Stoneforge and then hopefully we'll be able to turn three Batter Skull. So we are going to keep this hand. Uh, and if not, we have a few Horizon Canopies we can redraw with. Uh, overall, I think this is an okay keepable hand. Um, if we did want to be a little aggressive, we could uh, we could mulligan and hopefully hit our combo pieces. Um, this is a deck that actually you want to be a little more aggressive with your mulligans. Um, but I think having the giver into Stoneforge is actually not a bad game plan for the start. It's a little bit more fair, um, but again, hopefully it'll uh, hopefully it'll prove us prove that it's pretty good. Uh, concealed Courtyard into Fatal Push. All right. Uh, so we're going to lead with turn two Stoneforge still. Uh, yes, and I'm going to grab the Batter Skull. And we'll have to see what our opponent ends up doing. All right, so they let us untap. So I'm going to attempt to play a Bird of Paradise. Um, and we're just going to pass the turn for the moment. Uh, we'll see what our opponent is playing here in a moment, hopefully. I'm not sure of any Orzhov decks just running around. This could be like an Esper control uh, with three two marsh flaps. Uh, I guess we'll see here in a second. All right, this might just be an Orzhov deck. All right, there's Ranger Captain of Eos. This might be a uh, Death Shadow. I apologize for any noises in the background. My dog is uh, going ham on his hand for some reason. <laughs> All right, hopefully walking ballista. That's odd. All right, so we are going to activate Stoneforge here. We are going to put in Batter Skull. All right, there is a Shalai which we can also activate. So do we want to hit for quite a bit with our bird? Why would they grab Walking Ballista? What is this deck? All right, I am going to go ahead and put in the Sword of Fire and Ice. And I'm going to actually equip it to our Birds of Paradise here. And then I'm going to swing in for... Okay, and our opponent just decides to concede. Orzov, what did they tutor up? Walking Ballista. Is this just a Death and Taxes deck? So if they have Walking Ballista, do they have a way to like make Walking Ballista huge? All right, they're playing black, so I feel like they're going to be playing more of a fair deck. I saw Walking Ballista, so maybe I want... I'm going to bring in a Collector Oof for sure. Maybe the Knight of Autumns? No, they had Ranger Captain. This is what I'm thinking about. Um, maybe not two Knight of Autumns and maybe not two Collector Oofs, but I think I want a package of some sort. I think having two Knight of Autumns does give you a little bit of a uh, 
a build around. Um, they didn't really see too much from our deck. They didn't see that we were on the Vizier uh, Devoted Druid combo. What do I take out? I feel like they're going to have a lot of removal. So I think I want to cut... I think it's similar to the way we played last game where I'm just cutting some of the some of the more fair cards um, or some of the more broken cards and then playing more of a fair strategy. Lightning Greaves is probably fine. Um, maybe trim a Stone Forge. See, the weird thing about sideboarding with this deck is like we have a couple different strategies. Um, and they're not all more powerful than the other, so. Like, both are good strategies. Just a general fair beatdown strategy and then a combo strategy um, are both very good for uh, the modern meta at the moment. Uh, I think this hands a mulligan. Um, but I'm not really sure what our opponent's playing. Alright, this hand is a lot better. Um... What do we put on the bottom? I think we leave the combo piece in hand. I think I'm going to put Temple Garden on the bottom. Done. Lead with Giver into Stoneforge again. And go ahead and grab... Alright, there's Inquisition. So it's probably going to eat one of our cards here. If they're afraid of the combo, they could take Vizier. Um, I think if they don't have a way to get rid of Giver, though... I think it's just eating the giver of ruins here. I am still going to lead on Razor Verge Thicket though. This is definitely going to be a hard choice for our opponent. They actually eat Knight of Autumn. That's a little surprising to me. Alright, so I'm going to go ahead and play Giver of Ruin here. They may have board wipes. Um, does this eat creatures? Choose a non-land card. Yep, it eats a bunch of stuff. Alright, they're probably going to take the Stone Forge here. Alright, there goes Stone Forge. Oh my goodness. I apologize for my uh my border here. Um Alright, so what do we play here? Probably just played the Bird of Paradise, right? And then I played Temple Garden tapped. Uh, and then I'll pass the turn be a nice time to find a devoted druid i don't want to overcommit to the board because i feel like they have a lot of removal spells and i don't want to leave anything open uh to like a board wipe all right what do they name with plague engineer probably bird yep All right, so this is probably like a black and white death and taxes build. Um, it seems actually pretty powerful um, against our deck. So if they're playing a death and taxes build, I don't feel like they're going to have too many board wipes. Uh, so maybe I just play the Vizier as a body. Uh, and then hopefully, hopefully our opponent attacks into it. And then we can give it pro black. It'd be nice to draw some of our uh, draw cards, uh, so a tireless tracker wouldn't be too bad, uh, or one of our search, search cards. All right, I'm gonna give it pro black here. I'm not really sure the purpose of that 
are they gonna play another one because they could have just played two there maybe they have a removal spell for all right they could have just played the the first one though Oh, Cleric. Nifty, nifty, nifty. Alright, I'm going to play this Lightning Greaves, though, and put it on this Giver of Ruins. And pass the turn, and hopefully our opponent doesn't, uh, doesn't draw anything good against us. Another Plague Engineer would be actually really bad for us here. All right, our opponent's going to draw a card with the new card from Modern Horizons, Silent uh, Clearing. Uh, they drew a Field of Ruin for a turn. Uh, we are going to go ahead and block both and get the other protection from black. Uh, pro black. Uh, and then we want to choose the other... Oh, no! Oh, no! Oh, no! I messed up. I messed up. You can't give the other one pro black if it has shroud. Ah, oh, there's a stone forge mystic. Oh no. <laughs> Get a GTA. Just kidding. Sort of light and shadow. That's a pretty good one against us. Okay. What are we doing here? We're probably waiting. What do they get back? Plague Engineer. We don't want the wait because we don't want to... We want to play Knight of Autumn as a 4-3. Three, three, uh, three. And give it Shroud. That's unfortunately what we want to do. And hopefully they don't have a removal spell for it uh, when we give it Shroud. Oh no, it has protection from white. Alright, this is really bad for us, actually. I apologize, everyone. I'm making quite a few misplays. Do I attack here and just fight them? You gain three life and return a Plague Engineer to your hand. All right, Sword of Light and Shadow is actually pretty decent uh, against our deck, um, being the majority of our deck is uh, white. I wasn't thinking about that. I was thinking about uh, Night of Autumn being green. Um, sorry for my voice being a little raspy, too. Um, I just got home from work and uh, a little tired from today. Uh, thank you all so much for watching, though. Um, I do encourage everyone to check out our awesome sponsors. Uh, we have Manatraders.com. Uh, we have Inked Gaming and, of course, our Patreon page over at patreon.com. Uh, we're not going to be able to block anything. Uh, they probably get back the Plague Engineer here because that's a really good card. I should have attacked with Knight. I should have just raced him. There's a Gavany, which isn't great. I can't even really attack that well because they're just going to gain the life and plus if I attack then they just attack and it doesn't end up well. Man that sucks. Alright Plague Engineer here is going to end up naming Core and killing our Knight and that was my misclick there too. I didn't give protection from black before. We turn up to one creature from your hand. All right. So right now it's a gain three life and boost effect. Come on, give me something good. These lands are not what I'm looking for. I think we're gonna end up losing this game. Uh, but we are going to get to go to the sideboard and bring in things like our combo pieces because they don't seem to have a lot of removal spell. 
uh, removal and we get to take out things that are useless in this deck. Um, but what do we want to do here? Probably block one of the Plague Engineers. I know it dies. Oh, actually, I didn't want to do that. All right, we're just going to concede this game. I didn't want to do that because then they can get it back with Light and Shadow. And it's just a never-ending loop of uh, that. All right, I'm going to bring in maybe Tireless Tracker. Thrun's probably a good one. Collector Oop, Oof, Oof, Collector Oof. Collector Oof probably isn't bad. Um, again, I don't think the combo's really where we want to be because they have ways to kill our stuff. Um, so I am going to cut another Vasir here. Uh, what did I bring in last time that I don't want now? All right, Finale is probably a worse version. Let's see, let's bring in these. I might want the Eldomeries call though, because we can just tutor up whatever we want. Um, Viridian Longbow, again, we're not really going into the combo at this point. Maybe I keep a Walking Ballista. Probably, it's a construct. Um, we do want the Path to Exiles like I brought in before. Um, Giver of Ruins is still a good card, just, uh, despite what we just ran into. Uh, Lightning Greaves is... <sighs> Lightning Greaves, Lightning Greaves. Lightning Greaves is probably cuttable. Our opponent didn't have... I guess they have Fatal Push. They might have Path to Exile as well. Let's sort by Converted Mana Cost real quick. Fire and Ice is fine if we can get it through... Maybe it is just the Lightning Greaves. No, I like the haste on those things. Uh, we'll leave the Batter Skull, so our package will be that. Maybe it's just another Devoted Druid. I cut two of the combo pieces. If we happen to assemble the combo, that's probably fine. I would like to play first, and I... Um, let's see, we have a turn one Noble into a turn two Stone Forge. And then a Collector Oof. We don't have crossing creature types. I feel like we can get a better hand out of this deck. All right, this one's riskier. Um, I think I'm gonna mulligan one more time. All right, this hand is keepable. Uh, we're gonna keep this. We're gonna put a Vasir and a Stone Forge on bottom. Done. Uh, we're going to go ahead and lead with our planes, though. That way we can hopefully um, draw another source. And if we draw just lands in a row, we can play out this tireless tracker and use our fetch lands to the max. Um, all right, there's another Inquisition from our opponent. Uh, they're probably taking the Stone Forge here, if I were the guess, uh, because we can play it next turn. And then... They can't hit the Thrun, they can't hit the land. I'm not really sure which one they would prefer. Tracker's definitely going to be really good. Um, yeah, the Stone Forge there. Alright, and again, we're going to play out this Forest because we want to use our Tracker's ability best we can. Um, and hopefully we're going to draw another land here. Unless they got another discard spell. Okay, there's Bob. We don't really care about Bob too much. Um, yeah, I think I'm just going to play out the tracker here. I think it's too good of a card not to be played. Um, do we just grab this basic forest or do we grab... Yeah, we want to be able to fetch for anything. So let's just grab this basic forest and play out the tracker. And then next turn, uh, we can play out... If we draw a land, we can play out uh, the land and play Thrun. If not, we're going to play out this Noble Hierarch. Hopefully our opponent doesn't just have something uh, like a Fetch Land Fatal Push or something like that. 
Bob seems interesting in this deck because we are kind of an aggressive deck. Um, but Bob is a decent blocker and attacker um, in addition to its overpowerful ability. In a field of like burn and things like that though, I'm not really sure how I feel about Bob. Um, and again, I'm not sure if this is in the main deck. Maybe it's in the side and they're just uh, trying to play it in the side. Uh, end of turn. I was going to say, what are you doing, uh, opponent? Alright. Oh, there's the fatal push. Shoot. Alright, they get the fetch land as well. It's uh, pretty unfortunate if they did. Thrun's going to be really powerful, though. Alright, not a fetch land. Uh, Liliana is even worse than a fetch land. Lame. Okay. Unfortunately, Tireless Tracker is down. Uh, we are being attacked by Bob. And they have the Fatal Push for our Noble Hierarch. So we'd like to draw a land here. And that's a Batter Skull. That's not even close to a land. Ugh, I hate... I hate the fact that they have Liliana right now because this is a fantastic hand. And now we're going to have to discard either our Batter Skull, which is one of our most powerful cards, or Thrun, which is our probably our most powerful card in this matchup. And they have the Fatal Push for our Noble Hierarch, and that is that. And we are seriously in some big, big doo-doo. All right, they discard another Dark Confidant, and they're probably going to Thoughtseize us if they have a chance. I, uh, and they have the Liliana, the tick down on the Thrun. Our opponent just has it all, folks. We are not going to win this game. This is very, very bad for us. All right, and our opponent's just going to be able to kill us and hit us with Sword of Light and Shadow. Man, oh man, Modern has changed, folks. I have been gone about a month. I have not been playing as well as I want to be, and now Modern is just going to tick away and kill us with this Liliana. All right, there's no way out of here. We're, we're going to stick around because the only way we actually win is uh, from this Dark Confidant. Um, killing our opponent um, so we're gonna we're gonna stick her oh no they can't because they have sort of light and shadow and light and shadow is just gonna gain them a bunch of life all right we need um, what do we need off the top we need our destroy target enchantment person oh 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 slow down there killer all right there is dark confidant there's a Basir. Uh, we'll go ahead and play it out. Again, I don't think we're winning this one, but we'll do our best. Always yield. I don't care. Liliana comboed with Bob. Again, just these uh, grindy, grindy mid-range decks. All right, they're going to name Cleric here. Our Vasir is going to die. We're all going to discard cards. And our opponent is just going to outgrind us. This combo with Sword and Light and Shadow and uh, Liliana the Veil is pretty good. We might jump over to some like Esper Control or something after. Alright, we're going to pass the turn. We're not completely out of this yet. Uh, we are at 5, but we, we might have hope. Dryad Arbor, coming in. Dryad Arbor, coming in hot. Gonna block this Dark Confidant. Oh, man. We fetched. We fetched. I forgot we fetched. And that is the game. Thank you so much for watching. Please go hit that like and subscribe button if you enjoyed today's video. For your custom play mats, mouse pads, and more, head over to Inked Gaming. Use promo code CROCODILEMTG10 to receive 10% off your order. Today's video was brought to you by all our wonderful sponsors, affiliates, and patrons.